a little more of this colour in there. And just a little bit. So that's what going down there. So that's what we have. Now, next job is um, the clothing. And for that, we're just going straight into the uh, Troll Slayer Orange. That one. This is about as much as I think we need. I'm not going too heavy with the um, highlights for the clothing. So here we go. And again, for this, we're just looking towards the very raised areas. Um. <coughs> now the reason I put some out on the palette is because I want to be able to control with water how much goes on here. Um. As it stands at the moment, there's it's not. Um, looking incredibly bright, which is good. I don't want it to look very car too cartoony, do we? But we need it to look orange. Um, so I think we may get another level of highlighting going on after this. But that will be with a mix of this orange and yellow. <clears throat> Just to brighten it up a little bit more. It's not looking too bad at all. I'm quite impressed with the colours here. And it's just a case of making sure that the, the highlights are bright enough to stand out. So that's her done. Now let's get on with the, the others. can do for this level of or this stage of highlighting um, to make sure everything that you want this particular colour gets to be this particular colour that's that next I just get more into um, the skin tone and make that just a touch more touch lighter oops Lights. Not light enough. Might well 
little bit. We'll just rinse out my brush and we can check. So I want to make this last coat. And I'm going right up to the top of the legs. Now just to tidy it up a little bit. not covering everything that we've previously done. Okay. So we're doing a very small amount of highlighting with this. Let's just make sure that everywhere where there is a highlight or high point, let's just make sure that some of this gets in the high point. <coughs> this is not your, um, what do you call it? Not your broad sweeping strokes that we're doing here now, it's very precise placement of your marks. And now the face. That should be that for that. Skin salt. some more um, screaming skull line and make the skin tone just a little bit brighter in some areas. I think it does need it. Um, I'm just going to go back into the flesh, the original flesh wash here. And just add a little bit and down here. That will do. Right, so as I say, a little bit more of the screaming skull. So let's put that amount of thing in. Now we can just bury it in Screaming Skull. Okay. 
looking real nice and pale. Back to here again. Right. I'm just doing a little touches. No mates here, and uh, we're not going mad with this. You may just be able to see the difference, I'm not sure. But this is not um some so more of that see if that's well add a little bit of that as well. Let's see if that pet might waste up enough what we want. So as I say it's just a case of placing. You think you need that little bit of extra light. If anything, when it comes to wider areas, I'll just stipple. Get some. Let's have, but we're not doing this in a great big area. As you see somewhere else to brighten up, that'll do. <laughs> okay, so now it's highlighting the um, orange, and for that, I'm going to bring a bit of flash kitsch yellow into the proceedings. I don't think I have another orangey colour. So, I've got my fresh kitchen oil. Get some of that from there, and then into that we'll pop some orange. The idea is want to make it just a little bit brighter. Not so bright that you need to be able to, or you need to wear sunglasses to look at them, but bright enough. Once it's make all coins not yellow, that should do the trick. I hope. Okay, so let's see how we go with this one. Um, again, this is 
smaller tip and extreme highlights so we're just adding this along just to various little extreme raised areas just the white to highlight now um, yeah I'm just going to go with white scar because I can use this straight from the top because it's in a brush which felt already pre-thinned so I don't need to worry okay, so I can just get some on the brush and Touch here and there. The colour beneath will give it like a shadow effect. Just like so. Jump. Um, as I say, I'm going to go over the face with a flesh wash on these just to get the eyes filled in because, as you know, I don't do eyes. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way these are worked out. Let's get some more paint on the brush and we'll just you now put that below. We can see where the highlights are.
one more thing to do before I can say I've finished them and they're ready for um, burnishing and that is a quick delve into the wash which will be uh, bring that out it'll be uh, mid brown no flash wash I'll go over the flash wash it should be oops that one there we go so I'll just pop some of the pallets and as I say we're not doing a great deal with this Just going over the eye area. Over the mouth as well. And then anyway, we feel as though we need something. I think that should do. Next step is Fiona. Now, so Ali wants a green tone to the skin of Fiona. So I know you can't see it properly, but it's Nurgling Green is what I'm using. So let's put these. over here for the time being because they're done with and let's get some nurgling green out and we're going to put this straight into the flesh tone and I don't want it being completely green you know bright green like um, Shrek was That will do the job nicely, I think. I'm just going to rinse the brush off now. And we can start. So it's not looking green green it's got more creamy color but when we put washes on the green will come out um, it's looking green at the moment simply because it's got a lot of the barbarian flesh mixed in with it, there's more of that than the green and I said I don't want a bright green but you know, we'll make up for with greenness when we do the wash once I've, once I've applied the wash I'm going to 
as usual let it dry but while it's drying okay 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 I'm um, just trying to look where flesh was there's not a great vast amount of flesh on shore have to mix some more of this colour after we've done the, the wash because it's basically near enough run out. In fact I may need to have to put some in or mix them up before I do the wash. Assuming of course I can get the flesh. On the flesh there is done which is all I have. I just need to make sure that it's all covered. There we are. And it looks as though it is. So that's that bit done. Next job. 